Hey everyone, Carlos here from A Difficult Truth. So today I want to bring your attention uh, to Alabama Stan, which by the way, if you haven't watched Bo from the fifth column, uh, he does amazing videos. I love watching his content. Uh, really, really, really good stuff. I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below if you don't know him already. Um, but that's where I got the term. Alabama Stan is, uh, is the nickname for Alabama, and rightly so because their track record on women's rights is just disgusting i mean look at the recent abortion bill it doesn't even have exceptions for rape or incest it's just truly 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 uh disgusting but the story that i want to talk to you guys about today is the story of marcia jones marcia jones was five months pregnant when uh, uh, she got into a, a physical altercation with another woman named Ebony James, Jameson, Jameson uh, who ultimately shot Jones. And that caused, jo uh, caused Jones' pregnancy to terminate. The shooter, who's J Jameson, uh, walked away scot-free, zero consequences, because the grand jury determined that that was self-defense. And now Jones, get this, Jones is now being indicted for manslaughter because the shooting, because she started the altercation, which led to the shooting, which led to her pregnancy being terminated. Mind you, mind you, Alabama is number one when it comes to prosecuting, prosecuting women uh, when it comes to crimes related to their pregnancy. So a pregnant woman gets shot, almost dies, loses her child, which I'm sure she wanted because she was five months pregnant, and is now being punished for it. It's just absolutely appalling that in 2019, in the United States, this is happening. This is Christian Sharia law. This is the slippery slope that I'm afraid of when it comes to... Um, giving a fetus the same rights as a person. I mean, just legally, legally, think of, the, uh, think of the gray area that this creates. I mean, are all those pregnant women in prison? Are you falsely imprisoning people because those fetuses are now considered people? Why don't you, uh, why don't you take that into account? These people don't care about the woman. These people don't care about the child. If they did, they would be seeking justice for the woman who got shot and lost her child. I mean, wouldn't, logically speaking, they uh, attempt, uh, they, they try to charge uh, Jameson, who was the shooter, uh, two charges of attempted murder? Because, you know, fetus is a person. This is the slippery slope when you start putting religion into politics or when you try to inject religion into politics, into legislation. How is it that, how, how is it that any of this is possible? I mean, this is why they earned the name Alabamistan. This sounds like something that should be uh, out of the Middle East. They don't care about the woman. They don't care about the child. These people are trying to reinforce the idea that the only thing a pregnant woman is good for is to carry that child to term. That is literally the only thing that she is good for. And everything she does is, crim is, is punishable criminally if it leads to her uh, child, child being uh, aborted, um, or uh, killed because I mean the getting shot caused her to uh, basically ab abort the child I mean usually the body will do that to attempt to save the mother but in 2019 we are punishing women for nothing for nothing really for not carrying that child to term for not doing everything physically humanly possible uh, to not carry that, uh, that child to term. So much so that the sheriff, the lieutenant, said that the only true victim 
the only true victim was the fetus. That is to illustrate the mentality of these people. This is why uh, you can't have religion in politics. This is why morally, logically, legally, it is not right to give the same rights to a fetus as to the person. These so-called Christians don't care about the woman or the child. It is very clear, and it's very clear that in 2019, uh, we have Christian Sharia law here. Governor Ivey, all these sickly, disgusting Republicans who are uh, who who allowed this to happen, who are allowing these type of laws to be uh, to be passed, should resign. You should feel ashamed of yourself that this is how uh, this is how you view women. And I mean Alabama, come on now, vote them out. Rethink your moral compass, please. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Ring the little bell so that you get notifications when our videos go live for you. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Really appreciate it. Uh, you can also follow the channel on Twitter at twitter.com slash a difficult truth. You can also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash a difficult truth official. And you can also listen to our podcast at soundcloud.com slash a difficult truth. I'll leave all the links in the description below. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.